The first question that we had was to draw the wave function in a closed box <clears throat> for the first four states. Well, the wave function in the n equals 1 state would look like the same as a string, all right? String resonance n equals 1. If we want to graph the probability density function, see this is psi of x. If we want to graph the probability density function, it'd be psi squared of x. So it would look more like this, okay? The square of it. This is actually even more important, okay? In the n equals 2 state, what does it look like? Well, it goes up, down, and up again. You, it's like saying you fit a complete wave. If you want to plot the probability de uh, density function, you square that, it looks like this, this, okay? This, uh, this is n equals 2 state. Okay, how about the n equals uh, 3 state? n equals 3 state, it goes up, down, up, down, okay? You fit a wave length and a half, right? And then the, what would the probability density look like? You square that, it goes like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, okay? And then the n equals 4 state, it would go up, down, up, up, down, up, okay? And then the probability density would be up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, okay? So I'm drawing the wave function and it's square, okay? So that is the answer for the first question. Then part A said, what is the probability that the particle is in the middle of the box in the second state? So in the second state, look in the middle of the box. You see the middle of the box? The probability density is zero. So, if I want to find the particle at the middle, the probability density is zero, and even if I do the uncertainty of a certain dx, zero times any dx is uh, zero, so even in the middle or a little bit to the left or to the right, it's still going to be zero. So the answer to part A is going to be zero, okay? Let's erase some of these here. The answer to question B, the question B said, what are the most probable positions of the particle in the n equals 4 state? In the n equals 4 state, the more, most probable positions are the peaks of these, right? The peak, the trough, the peak, the trough. So this is equal to, um, this is equal to, uh, well, basically, this is half L over 2. And then you're taking another half, the probability is zero, that's L over four, and then half of that. So the most probable position is L over eight. The next peak happens at three L over eight, three eighths of L. The next one would be to the right of uh, half the box, another quarter. <clears throat> to the, um, the next probable state would be to the other part of it, another eighth, so that would be 5L over 8, and then the next one is going to be 7L over 8. Those are the most probable positions, okay, in the n equals 4 state. C, if the energy of the ground state equals 10 mega electron volts, what is the energy of the third state? Well, remember, this n equals 1 state, the energy would be what? All this stuff, right? So it's saying if that is equal to 10 mega electron volts, what would the energy of the third state be? n equals 3. So 3 squared is 9, 9 times that. So it would be 90 mega electron volts. 90 mega electron volts. Okay, so those are pretty quick questions, right? We answer them kind of quickly. The part D is going to take a little bit longer. D says, what is the actual energy of the third state given, and then it gave us the mass and the length. Well, we just have to put everything into here have E of the third state, 3 squared, the Planck's constant squared, right? 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 squared, divided by 8, mass of the particle, 3.2 times 10 to the minus 29 kilogram, and then the length of the box, which is 0.5, 
times 10 to the minus 6. <clears throat> Square. Now, this is going to give me the answer in joules. Now, the most likely, the answer is going to be pretty small. So, what I could do is also say 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joule is one electron volt. So, now I can get a little bigger answer. So, let's put everything in. The energy of a particle, a particle, a very uh, elementary particle, that is allowed to freely roam around a box of 0.5 micrometers uh, in the third state is equal to 3.86 times 10 minus 7 electron volts. Notice that that is very, very small, very small energy. So classically, we can say it doesn't have any energy, right? But quantum mechanically, it does actually have energy, right? Now, I could also ask here a question, maybe a little bit more advanced question, at x equals to, and then I can give some random uh, number. I can say at x equals to 0 0.30 micrometer with an uncertainty, with an uncertainty of <coughs> micrometer, okay? So notice the box was 0.5 micrometers long. Well, what is the probability of finding a particle at x equals to 0.3? That means um, point at the location. So if the box was like this, 0.5 micrometers. So 0.3 would be about here, 0.3 micrometer. But you have to also specify with a certain uncertainty. So it would be uncertainty of 0.01, so it will be 0.31 or maybe 0.29. So 0.31 that way, 0.29, so there's an uncertainty of 0.01 micrometer. So what is the probability of finding the particle at that uh, state in the n equals, and then you have to specify a state, in the n equals for state, okay? So basically, what do you do? Remember, it was psi of x is equal to square root of 2 over L sine of pi and x over L. Well, basically, you have to put everything in, but we have to square this. Square, we get 2 over L sine of pi and x over L squared. And then we have to multiply it by delta x, right? So let's put everything in. 2 divided by L is 0.5 micrometer, 0.50 micrometer, sine squared pi, and then it told us in the n equals 4 state, 4, and then x is the position, which was 0.3, 0.3 micrometer divided by, and then the L is 0.5 micrometer. So this is unitless, you see? The units of the X and the L cancel each other. So micrometer, micrometer cancels, and then we multiply this by what? Delta X, which is 0.01 micrometer. 0.01 micrometer, and notice what happens. The micrometer down here, cancels the micrometer up there, and then the final uh, result becomes like this. <clears throat> Psi squared x delta x equals uh, 2 divided by 0.5, and then the units canceled, and then times 0.01, times 0.01, times sine squared of and then 0.3 over 0.5 becomes what? So this is a 3 times 4 is 12 pi, 12 pi divided by 5. <coughs> so basically, you have to go to your radian mode on your calculator. Mode 03618.
Okay? Now, if we change that to a probability percentage, we multiply it by 100%, so we get 3.62%, we can say. Okay? So in the n equals fourth state, given those variables, 0.5 micrometers, it is likely that the particle is at x equal to 0.3 micrometer with an uncertainty of 0.01. It's, there's 3% um, probability of finding the particle there, okay? So you can see now how this works. So hopefully this is a little bit of a good introduction to quantum mechanics for you, and you can see how to apply it to a basic particle in a box problem. Thank you very much.